Right, Dragon, take us away. Well, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another Cast of Competitive Left 4 Dead 2. I, of course, am Dragon, as Battle's already stated, and as I have stated just there, Battle's by my side tonight. Say hello, Battle. Hello, people. And I'd also like to welcome with us um, our fellow friend, Swink. Hello. Alrighty then, and for tonight it is the semi-finals of the EQ Cup in the winner's bracket, and it's between 2-8 and Impossibrew. Do you guys want to give a rundown of the teams? Uh, certainly. Uh, for too late, we have Skeptical, Whoops, MC, and Sir. And do you want to take away, uh, Impossible Swink? Before we go live? Alright. We have Mengui, Salmer, Shez, and Mosquito. Okay, opening attack for the SI is a Hunter, Jockey, Spitter, and Boomer, so a horrible 2-2 setup. Which they're going to be looking to get rid of extremely quickly. Uh, uh, too late on Survivor, Impossible on Special Infected. Uh, Boomer has already spawned up. He does try for the long range, but he's not going to get it. There's a hunter coming in from behind and a jockey off the billboard. Hunter has been skeeted. Jockey's been shut down. Spit goes on nothing as a result. And that does deal with the first attack. Yeah, I have absolutely zero damage on the board. I think they were hoping to get something out of the boomer, but like you said, 2-2. Two, two. Don't really expect much from it anyway in that area, so they just wanted to sack it. Hey, I'm reloading. And they are going to get a charger for this attack, along with a boomer hunter and a jockey, so it's a free one. And they can make something of it here at this uh, first bridge as well. Yeah, they were looking for that. Um, you can see the boomer looking for that spawn behind the yellow, uh, the yellow, yellow water barrels as well, looking to try and get early that early boom. Oh, indeed, early time. Boomer does spawn up and he gets popped. Uh, we do only have one war room, which is too late, so we'll keep it here for now. Charger going in for a charge. He's not going to get anything. He gets a stumble. Coming back in for some fists, not getting nothing shut down. Time to get an M2 as well. Yeah, uh, mosquitoes got control of the tank, and like uh, Basil said, we don't have Impossible Roo's uh, war run because they didn't want us out there. Which is a bit of a shame, considering, you know, the, <laughs> the semi-finals of the cup and all. Reloading. Tank is uh, trying to keep line of sight as he tries to avoid chip at the same time. Uh, the SI attack is coming up, but there's a Boomer Charger and Hunter, which I think they might want to sack for this Reloading. area. Tank's just trying for rocks. He's only down to about 60 plus though, which isn't bad. Boomer tries bunny hopping in, but he gets bit. Charger spawns up, Hunter's coming in from behind, Charger gets mowed down, Hunter does get a pound, and he gets cleared instantly, and the rock falls uh, too long. Hey, I'm reloading. Yeah, it just looks like uh, too late, a very sharp on their survivor awareness. Even though they are rolling four science SMGs, they're quickly shooting down everything with them. There is another rock coming in, which is it's about the right distance, but unfortunately, uh, Coach was well aware of where that rock was about to land. XSI yeah, attack yeah. is it up. Smoker, jockey, boomer. So they might want to just sack the boomer here. But they're going to sack the whole thing. It's all coming in now. Smoker gets a pull on Rochelle. The jockey's going for the intercept, but he's a little bit too late. Jockey has been shut down. Smoker's still on full HP. Boom gets a boom and on one though. A mosquito tank holding great line of sight as well. He's only taken about uh, just under 400 chip. Smoker gets another repull. A little bit of damage going in on that, but. Uh, Nothing exceptional. Ooh, I thought almost catching that rock. Yeah, I thought he was about to run into the path of that rock, just uh, narrowly avoiding it. Tank's holding great sign. Uh, it's still on first path with Mosquito. He's down to 35% frustration. There's another SI attack. That smoker going for a third pull on Skeptical. Boomer with a double boom. Hunter gets a pounce as well. Oh, Ooh. he did not want that underarm throw. Skeptical, so confident there, just chip, uh, skeeting that rock before it landed on him. That's funny, isn't it? How there's two of them, well, two of them were boomed at that point, but Tank was still not able to land a rock. Even with an incoming horde, they're still actually defending quite solidly, our uh, 2 8. Oh, indeed. Another boomer coming in, he's going to get popped. It's fine, I'll say. for about three, four cycles of attacks as well now. They are going to try and push this tank a bit, but uh, he's certainly he's lost about a thousand, well, not even a thousand yet, he's lost 900 HP. He's finally passing into the hands of uh, Solmir. Not bad at all. Smoke is still up though, but he's going to have to reposition himself. Looks like survivors are trying for line of sight behind the bus now. Uh, there is a jockey coming in from above. Oka does get picked. Jockey gets a slight land skept. Here comes a charger as well. Stop shooting me. But he's just going to get a stumble and he gets shut down. Skeptic has to be careful up there, though. Those, uh, the hitboxes of Confoggle are... Oh, they're, they're LOSing him hard, and quite a bit away from the spawns as well. 
he's actually going to start moving in, or he's going to lose his tank to AI, which they don't want. Solely not in this yeah. area. Last SI attack is coming up though. He's going to be pushing in with this. They have Five a boomer as well. Up into that boomer. Oka gets to pull at the front. Tank's coming in from behind. Going around the other way. Finally getting a land on, uh, hit on to a skeptical. I guess the hit cap on skeptical, indeed, yeah. Oh, Mr. Rock as well. Could have got one last hit on, but, uh, I mean, for that area, I mean, one in cap isn't bad at all, in my opinion. Yeah, I think, uh, the tank, when he did finally commit, though, I think he went around the wrong way, almost. It looked like, um, if he carried on going straight forward, he would have backed the survivors right up into where that boomer was looking for a spawn. But because the tank yeah. came around from behind the bus, it pushed the survivors forward, which meant the boomer had to reposition, and as a result, didn't really get anything. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, not bad, I mean, a full down on Skeptical. Uh, thankfully, though, for the uh, survivors, Skeptical was taking the brunt of the damage. There is a boom going off right now on uh, one survivor in the front. They do have a charge, a spit around a hunter in support, and it is coming in now. Charger repositioned to the top of the billboard. Hunter's heavily chipped, but he's yeah. looking for that pound. Hunter does get picked off by the uh, long range SMG spam. Here comes the Charger. Charger gets a charge, but he gets cleared before the charge even starts rolling, let alone completes. Clear very fast. Do they do a great job of focus firing down these SI as they come in? Seems that as soon as one Kappa comes in, they all focus it. And it gets absolutely destroyed. Shit, this hurts. But with an early tank, one down off it, it's not a bad start for too late at all. There's still a lot of map to go, I mean, they've only just got out of the safe room. But, um, they've been playing relatively strong at the moment, so I mean, with the rate they're progressing through the map now without no tank to worry about, I mean, we could see some really good health bonus come off the first map to give them that, uh, that early advantage. SI do have their next attack though, it is a tri-cap, boomer, charger, hunter and a smoke for support. Hunter has pre-spawned and he's running around on the bridge. Too late taking uh, no time with this choke point, they're not going to rush into it and eat a massive amount of damage, because I mean with a nice boom in this area, that charger for the separation could cause a lot of damage. And of course the traditional hunter DP. It's usually about a 20 in this area if you get it. Attack is spawned up and it is coming in though. Boomer gets a proxy on one survivor. Charger... Charger was nowhere near when he saw that charge. And they're just getting more damage on Skeptical. When really that charge had the option of punching Coach, but nevertheless he got a lot of punches in on Ellis. Yeah, they're starting to chip the uh, other three survivors across the board now as well. And because Skeptical is bleeding out, he's got no permanent HP left. He's just consuming all of Too Late's pills at the moment. They're lucky to find a couple more pickups um, in the motel area. None that I can see just yet, though. First car is alarmed as well. Another feed. Well, as I say, that smoke is coming in. He might just get the pull here, and it does set off the car alarm. Oh dear. There's a spit oh. going out as well, which is going to oh. split the survivor. The hunts have failed, and the only spawn that got left is a boomer, which is just going to... It's just going to make Nick the dirty dancer. It's going to make the other... Uh, make the job for the other three survivors much easier. Yeah, they need to get out of this area really quickly, though. I mean, at, at the rate they're moving now, they won't catch a room hit. Just the jockey up, but they need to get through, get down, and fight the rest of that horde on the in the uh, police car area, just so they don't catch a massive SI attack. Through the choke really quickly, though. The SI force is coming from behind. Here it comes. Charger missing his charge once again. Jockey lands, however. Charger going for a fist, but gets taken out. Hunter gets taken out. Jockey's still running around. There is just a spit of left. So too late. They're going to push straight for this drop and take it. There's a lot of common trailing them, though. Yeah. Everything which has been funneled into that volley of SMG fire combined from all four survivors. The charger practically couldn't get anything. And I think the jockey managed to get a bit of damage on Coach, which is great because he's a uh, permanent health. But it's just a little bit less than what they could probably get from each attack. And because of that. Much, pretty much outrun the horde as well. They've put themselves in a great defensive position now to kill in all the commons that are trickling in behind them. And with the amount of HP they've got, there is a nice try cap for the SI in front of them. Charger, Smoker, Spitter and Hunter. I mean, if they take this attack, that's pretty much safe room for them. Smoker looking for that pull in the back with the Charger as well, looking for that uh, tree spawn. Hunter has pre-spawned on top of the uh, hill. Charger's pre-spawned, Smoker's up, here comes Go the attack. Over behind, there's a Charger. Ooh, Charger oh. really unlucky there. Getting a charger couple a punches. There. Two punches on Sir as well. Not bad health bonus chip right at the end. The uh, Shiz, the smoker, has managed to get out of there and keep himself alive. But just the smoker here is not going to stop the survivors being able to push this safe from. And they've got a pretty respectable health bonus as well. 
point of the Cathy Boys. Ball. He's no health bonus, but uh, it managed to save him before he could trigger the uh, a, uh, car alarm. That's not bad. 364 bonus off the first map. Very respectable score. Thanks yeah. for most of the damage going in on uh, on Skeptical, who was uh, down by the tank. So no massive health bonus chip. Good few punches on Sir right at the end. So they do make it with, like I said, a respectable bonus. And of course, total score of uh, 764 after map one. Here it comes, too late on uh, their first round of Special Infected now. Uh, impossible on Survivor. Rap, map, oh Christ, map is already going live. It is a 2-2, two -two, which they will be looking to get rid of. Boomer, Hunter, Spitter and Jockey. We do have that early tank as well. The attack is spawned up though and it is coming. Boomer getting popped instantly. Hunter and Jockey jump around. Jockey getting shut down. Spitter's down. Hunter getting a couple of scratches. It's the six points from the initial scratch. It was an instant attack. attack. Very instantaneous attack. I'm not sure if possibly were expecting that, but nevertheless they handled it extremely well. Only six damage on the board from it. On the plus side though, the survivors are trying to push towards this tank spawn really quickly. There's still quite a few commons in the area, and uh, yeah. Too Late got rid of that really quickly, so they will have another boomer. Yeah, and it I looks like well, they do have that tri-cap. I'd actually just come in right now. Charger gets a charge, Hunter gets M2 and shot around, Boomer gets a boom in on one and the jockey's been shut down as well. It's more commons for them to deal with. Looks like they are going to send Ellis forward, to, uh, sorry, Coach forward to try and trigger this tank. Which does so. They do trigger the tank. Uh, tank is up in the hands of whoops. Uh, let's hit us over an infected war room, SL. No. Reloading. Bus blocking away. You want to raise my boomer? Go away. Are you guys ready? Sure. I just lost Three, it. Three, two, one. Just like we can, we can go. Yeah, we just lost it. Reloading. You got a hunter. He wanted to go. Yeah, I'll go with that. Keep attacking. Wait a sec. Wait a sec, Skip. Hey, I'm reloading. I can't go. I can't reloading. go. Reloading. Okay, I'm just gonna sack it then. Let's go, Skip. Nice. Ah, no. What a boomer. Crazy. Hey, they're rocking these bastards, man. They're gonna. They might push, yeah. Oh. Close, close enough. Hit them fast. All of us in pretty well, yeah. Yeah, cool. AI hey, jockey? Oh, I'm oh, see. <coughs> Almost. Yeah, I know. Can keep the hunter. Get a little bit of chip, though. Go in the uh, tank. I need to go in. Okay, let's go. Yeah, go in. Go, go, go. Hunter, be fast. Go in. Go but in. Yeah, Hunter, I need go to go in. in. Let's get it. Get a punch? Yeah. Almost. <laughs> Jockey scratches. So powerful. Pretty much. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. That was the open tank of the game for too late. Uh, only managing one punch there, unfortunately, and getting absolutely railed by the survivors with M4 SMGs. But uh, we did see a little bit of chip going in. That one tank punch, um, Solmir and Mosquito taking a little bit of chip as well from the SI attacks that came in prior to the tank push. But uh, nothing real significant going out there. So, I mean, really well handled by Impossible. No one's bleeding. Still have four sets of pills. Next SI attack is up. It is another tri cap. That's why I like it. It's a 2 2 setup. Well, that spitter was a smoker. Hunter, charger, boomer, and spitter. Good damage potential though from the charge spit. But uh, they're going to have to do quite a bit now, too late, to sort of uh, chip down that health bonus quite a bit. Reloading. Start off a really good match so far. I mean, both sides look very strong Reloading. at survivor play. Reloading. Yes, I bide in their time. They haven't committed to the attack just yet.
Hunter has pre-spawned. Survivors are sort of finding much more uh, suitable positions for clearing. Nick is on top of the uh, the truck in front, which would be great for clearing SI without having to stand in spit or even catch a boom. Here comes the attack, though. Charger rocketing in. Charger Ooh. gets shredded before he gets to land. Yeah. It does land. The spit goes down, but not that much damage at all, really. Hey, I'm reloading. It's pretty much even chip gone out on uh, Solmere, Shears, and Mosquito, but the survivors are still in great shape. Look out! They're going to be able to take this alarm car choke as well before the uh, SI are actually up to stop them. And two light are dying, uh, two light are dying with like great uh, synchronization. They're all dying at near enough the same time, so they all their spawns are up at the exact same times as well. That was something they were particularly known for in like the first CGFB Cup as well. This attack would, however. Booba gets a Booba to one. Hunter and Jockey shut down. Mocha looking for a pole. Oh, but they killed Mosquito, and they didn't. Responded a second or two too late there, but quickly dealt with. Yeah, that caused a little bit of slowdown for the survivors, but with no alarm car triggered, no SI up at the moment, they are going to be able to drop out of this uh, out of this room, block all the spawns up, and permit them from taking another attack in this area. Going to be another 2-2 though for the SI. Charge a spit of boomer. The final spawn coming in is a hunter, so 2-2 once again. It looks like they are going to opt to hit just as the survivors drop. But they still need to do some sort of really significant work here. The uh, survivor is still sitting at a massive health bonus. It's currently at 540, but that's not including the uh, four sets of pills currently on the survivor's possession as well. Currently at 608. From what I've just typed. It's a big bonus. It's almost double what uh, Too Late had make it save from. Well, Mosquito hasn't gone the full way down. He's just on one of the cliff edges, uh, one of the rocks of the... Uh, Edge there. They're actually being very cautious. Yeah, they're being very cautious about this drop. We're actually Ooh, landing a bit on Mosquito, but there is a charge. Fails to land, almost curving into Nick. There is a, a Hunter though on Coat. There will be a bit of damage on Shizza. Yeah, a little bit of damage on Coach. Um, a little bit more damage on uh, Mosquito from this initial boom and the commons coming in. But uh, the survivors, once again, handling that attack really comfortably. Yes, I do have a hit though, so it looks like they're going to have... Ooh, they might be able to cap on Nick, who's really separated. Sorry, it's Coach that's separated Coach from the rest right of the team. right at the top. He's trying to block spawns, but he's also got um, commons to contend with. A smoker has pulled Nick back briefly. Cleared very quickly though. Hunter and Jockey up front. Hunter's heavily chipped. Jockey does get a land. Boom, gets a boom. Ooh. Hunter got skeered as well. Shut could down. Have been so dangerous. If that smoker had repositioned himself, spawned on Coach and pulled him up top, leaving the uh, Boomer Jockey and Hunter to go for the rest of his separated teammates down below. That could have been at least an in-cap on Coach. Survivors yeah. are, are going to make safe from off. Yeah, this, this is going to make them take the lead as well. Something going <laughs> Albeit Mosquito blocked that spit with uh, his back there. Uh, there's a charger trying to get a spawn. <laughs> Smoker had no chance with three SMGs pointed at his head. Yeah, Boomer goes in, no gets a Boomer on one. Shell is still blocking that Charger spawn. Charger now has his spawn. He does get a Charger on Coke. Doesn't get the slam though. That is the full SI attack cleared. And the survivors, impossible, do make safe from a 500 health bonus. Which is going to give them... 136 a, uh, lead. Yeah, so it's still a really close game. And both teams are playing exceptionally well on Survivor. It seemed uh, too late, although they were dying really close together, they weren't paying that much attention to their second order. As a result, they got about two or three two twos that they really didn't want. Yeah, I mean, this is looking very close. I mean, my predictions, if you'd asked me before the match, would be that too late would be the slightly stronger team based on all their performances, you know, coming up to this semi finals and especially in the PCWs they've had. But, I mean, two, uh, Impossible Brew have obviously come off with a very strong result. They beat Elmo otherwise known as Pixies, the Frag Pipe Champions in the quarterfinals, just to be in the semi-finals themselves. And yeah, they're taking advantage of it. 100, only 136 point lead, but that's still something uh, caliber of a match like this. I mean, both teams play a lot of PCWs. They've been playing together for uh, quite some time as well. So it's one of them situations where, you know, both teams very respectable in the community, they all play a lot, they play together a lot as well, which is very important. Where, um, obviously, the more chemistry you have as a team, the more dangerous you are on both Special Infected and Survivor. The coordination on Survivor teams is exceptionally high. We do have the match already going 
Opening attack for the SI is a tricap with spit, jockey charger and smoker for support, so a really massively damaging potential attack here for the uh, the charge out of the initial safe room. Yeah. But the smoker looks uh, looking for that pull in front, the rest of the spawns are set up in uh, unison on top of the safe room roof. Oh, Jockey and Spit have already spawned before the door's even been opened, as does the Charger. They're gonna rush straight out. Oh, it's a tri -cap. Tri -cap. momentarily. The Spitter lands on Alice. Gonna be some damage, and the Spitter tries to keep him in there much longer. Jockey going for a lot of damage as well. Excellent tri -cap. Perfect coordination. If that Charger hadn't been cleared by Coach, that would have resulted in probably a full in-cap on Alice. Yeah, and for some reason Menge's ping was spiked up into the red by 200 ping. Just uh, slowly coming down now. So a great start right off the bat for Too Late. They really uh, took exception to the fact that they're down 136 points. They got a really big tri cap right off the bat. And a lot yep. of damage. Equal spread as well. Boomer does rocket in, however, and get a boom in on one survivor. Here comes a charge, a smoker, and a jockey. Jockey gets a. Uh, oh, charger gets a oh, charge. Oh, nice long range charge. The jockey gets a ride as well. You see, this, this is what I've noticed. I've seen the impossible rolling out four standard Uzis. Now, for anyone who's actually done the statistics, I honestly think four standard Uzis is a bad idea. Their DPS is so weak, and what's more is that they don't have the slowdown element of them in EQ. People actually overestimate the weapons that they are, because they're not that good in my honest opinion. Well, we do have the survivors uh, pushing outside the warehouse now. The tank is a 42% tank, which means it will trigger as the survivors push about halfway down this ramp in front of them into Kittyland. The attack is coming in. Charger gets another charge. Boom goes out on one. It goes down in a double charge. And the oh, that's going to be a lot of damage. That is a Nick lot of down damage. Nick comes down there. Yeah. Two full in cap. And that Boomer reproxies on Rochelle as well. What a hit. That was amazing. You know, it's a great area to attack as well for infected, but I honestly believe that some part of that is because they're carrying such a poor weapon setup as well. I mean, four standard Uzis and their lack of DPS. I mean, I didn't see how that's going to defend against an attack like that. Well, I mean, it's great for, um... Never mind, we have another attack coming in. Smoker getting a pull in behind. There's a tank up as well. Reload. There is. The uh, attack has been dealt with. It looks like the survivors are going to push into Kiddie Land here, because they do not have the HP to run this back. A uh, tank is up in the hands of MC, so let's take this over to an infected war room, Mattel. So close. Oh, <laughs> you almost still got him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's going like crazy right now. Good rock. Ooh. You wanna do it, MC? Yeah, mm. MC, do it. Pushing me quite hard though. Hard to find spawns here. One guy's got okay. behind him. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice operation, nice. guys. Go, go, Let's go. Three, two, one, go in. Top mud, yeah. Nice punch. Oh, you killed me. Let's get out, maybe. Oh no, you're really low. Yeah, I'm shit. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. That was the second tank of the game for Team Two Late. Doing a great amount of damage spread there. Uh, Shiz, Mosquito. Um, Coach has got a little bit of solid HP left, as does uh, Solmit. But they have no set of pills left. Uh, they took a lot of damage from that area. Of course, that uh, initial attack that went in prior to the tank spawn was a big hit as well. So, two later in prime position here. They do have a 2 2 setup, however. Not a great one either. Boomer, Spitter, Hunter, and Jockey for this ladder choke point. Still has good damage potential. They do in cap shiz at the bottom of the ladder. Uh, that is going to be him black and white, I believe. Boomer does go in second, though. Not sure about that personally, I would have kept that boomer up. We go, the spit goes out. The jockey gets a nice land. Hunter with a beautiful interception. I don't think the jockey's gonna be able to get him off though. No. Oh he doesn't get him off. Jockey has been taken down. Is coached down. He was a little bit of health bonus, but nothing uh, spectacular on him. There's still a spitter up. And a charger up as well. Do kill the spitter. Which means they will get the boomer. Smoker and charger. This charger looks like he wants to go. Smoker from behind, from in front, but the charger gets focus fired. 
uh, impossible. Even though they're making distance, they're in a pretty bad way. The jockey spawned up behind as well, trying to grip Rochelle, but she's already over the uh, over the fence onto the slide. Yeah, but now what? Now what? Uh, two later are doing is just sending in their spawns on the sink, and it's just giving these guys extra right, distance. I call Uncle here. Yep. I mean, look how low their health is. Considered they had pretty much no permanent HP left when the tank even started. They do find an extra set of pills though. There is a spitter. Oh, it's the worst 2 2 in history. Do see a spit go down. The jockey and smoker have been cleared. That is going to delay the survivors a bit, so they are bleeding out. Uh, of Jesus course. Was lucky to make it out of there without being in cap from the spit. And Shiz is black and white as well, so I mean, they could just focus everything on him right now. I'll get a kill on Shiz, at least that uh, destroy the health bonus, but I don't think Too Late intends to let Impossible make save from. They set off the event already without capping a uh, Mosquito, who's on one health. I'm not sure that's going to pay off well for them. Well, I think they're hoping that uh, Too Late will waste a capper on him, but uh, I don't think they're going to be wasting. Well, I think no, they're no, going to no. be going for the scratch. Commons they're doing capping now. That job. Uh, Commons have already done that job for the infected. This is an ample opportunity for that boomer to sack himself and get in there. He would have had a free try boom there. They would have got rid of this 2 2 setup that they have. Do they really biding their time? But the charger has spawned up, as is the spitter. Boomer rocketed in from above. Nice double boom. Jockey's rolling in as well, looking for a grab. Charger going in as well. Charger gets his charge, but the jockey has the same target as well, so it's an instant get up with the spit. I think Solmi is running the first shotgun we've seen in the game. At least he's taking one for this event, which I think is a wise idea. Yep, uh, Solmi of course is the health bonus. Again, Possible might actually make the save from here. They are slow, they are in bad shape. Mosquito down to 14 HP and he's black and white. Uh, and Shiz is down to 7 HP, now 6 and he's black and white. Smoke going off at the back but it gets cleared. They do make save from 88 bonus. A bonus sorry, nothing to really write home about, but they make safe from and they make the full map, which is always a good uh, a good thing. Yeah, especially after that attack, uh, right before the tank. Maybe too late, got a bit overconfident, and that's why Imp made it to safe room. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually amazed that Impossible managed to reach the safe room. It just goes to show that despite the weak start that they had, they managed to survive a tank and still make that event on very low health. But having said that though, it gives them the chance to make a big change here too late. Yeah, they do have that really nice old try cap as well with the uh, spit support. Too late rolling two shotguns. Yeah, yeah they are. Charger gets a charge, but he's out of the sp smokers will get instantly cleared. Bit coming in for a couple of scratches on Michelle. Pass to a low, so she's going to pistol it down. Coach does run back, though. Coach in the hands of Whoops to uh, finish that spitter off. That is the first attack, but with uh, not that much damage at all going out, we see 18 points of damage, which is uh, considerably less than what Delete managed with her opening hit. Oh, Boomer Bunny! Bunny. Didn't, didn't land a bomber, though. It's M2, gets popped. There is still um, a jockey and charger, and a smoker now looking to come in. Jockey has pre spawned behind the survivors, jumping along the back of the tent. They've now changed to a 3 1 setup, a skeptical being the only one carrying a shotgun. Which is interesting. I'm guessing they carry two shotguns because they felt like they could deal with the uh, attack out of the safe from better that way. The SI do have a good hit now, though. They have a, yet again another tri cap with that uh, spitter as, as uh, support as well, so they're looking for that damage potential. But uh, too late have managed to sort of get past the first attack pretty flawlessly. The second attack obviously didn't really come in, they just went for that boomer sack. And now they have the uh, tri cap to deal with. But the smoker has pre spawned in front. Michelle cuts the tongue, however. Jockey's rolling in, just coming in from behind. Chudger misses, spit goes down. Smoke's got to pull outside. Nick is going to clear that. Too late are in considerably better condition. Even though they did take quite a bit of um, chip across the board from that attack. Uh, but I mean, they can trigger the tank, and should they choose to run it back, they can pick up that scout and dip from distance, or they might actually opt to push it forward into Kitty Land. Tank has spawned, however. Survivors are going to push this tank. It's going straight in. Yeah. Probably a really wise wide. idea. Boomer lands on Rochelle. She's going to have the attention of all the commons on her. As uh, the tank did land a punch on, I believe it was Nick. It landed two punches. Oh, and there's a jockey on Ellis as well. God, they're in disarray here, or the uh, survivor team. They decide to push the tank into Kitty Land. The commons raging. 
That charger was going fist city as well. Two in cap. Rochelle is still dealing with comments at the front. And he's got the dump for kills. He is going for kills indeed. He's going to go and grab that one on. Uh, oh, but he missed oh. it. But he landed one. That's going to be the white. My that goodness. That's the white indeed. I think too late. We're a bit too gung ho with that. They pushed into Kitty Land when the tank was up. Tank rolling, speeding with the aid of all those commons that were still uncleared in the area. And as a result, managed to uh, separate the survivors pretty massively. Rochelle catching boom and being essentially taken out of the fight while the tank focused on the other three survivors. Even though the charger missed his charge when the jockey landed, it was just up to the charger to go in and fist down that survivor. Get about three more fists in a nickel and they killed. And by that time, the tank had, uh, I mean, the tank only had 900 HP left, but with that 900 HP, he managed to get another dumpster in cap on another survivor. And the jockey finished it off. Impressive play by him. Yeah, possibly taking no prisoners, I mean, and that's going to put uh, quite a deficit on too late now. I mean, this map is getting increasingly more difficult to take. I mean, even without coaster tank, you find that the um, the earlier tank spawns in the hands of good players can do exceptionally huge amount of damage. We do see the round already going live. It's another 2-2 opening for uh, too late. Boomer Smoker, Hunter is better. Tank is a 17% tank spawn, though, so Very that's a really early tank. Wouldn't be surprised to see them opt to save this boomer. The hunter has pre-spawned uh, outside. He's on the uh, the ramp tunnel of love. He's going to be going straight in for that pounce. Told me had a pump shotgun in his hands. Decided to change it for an SMG at the last second. I'm not sure Probably I agree with that. Probably a very bad decision. Yep. The uh, <laughs> three side that we did imagine would get hacked did get sacked. Hunter, Spitter, and the uh, Smoker are all down. But they will get um, a tri-cap to implement this boom. And with such an early tank spawn, if they can land this boom, um, and hopefully if they get a charger or a smoke, could just uh, either pull or charge forward. Just go in there and get a double boom. There is a, a jockey, Smoker, final spawn coming in for the FA in two seconds. Is a Hunter, but no charge yet. Um, they are going to get rid of this now. The Smoker has pre-spawned up in front. As has the jockey, the jockey shut down. It looks like they're really looking for that charger. Skeptical spawns about to come in one second. Let's see what he gets. He does get a spitter, and there is the tank. No, the spitter is uh, the spitter does go AI. Um, tank is up in the hands of skeptical, so let's take us over to an infected war missile. Why that piece? Uh. It's <laughs> And I never can boom from from here because they just shoot me. Isn't there like an option in the program where you can turn off no freeze or something? Okay. Uh, what they will do uh, with the tank, they will run all the way back to this uh, small room, the not room but that alley, and they want to fight the tank, uh, the last chip, or they want to fight okay. it over there. I can try and curve rock then. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, the tank will really get uh, chipped uh, fast, and since yeah, they're you there, you can't boom anyway, so. Yeah, but just then, you, then you have all in, and then I can boom. After. Oh, you want you want to play it with my tank? We can do it. Mm. What what do you reckon? I don't care, but you have to land the boom, though. That's the only thing. 
Yeah, but the boomer will be a after your chin, you know, because I will just get popped. So, uh, uh, I, first. I would rather you three <laughs> went in. Yeah, but or I will maybe get popped. try and land the boom. Yeah, but then Depends. you have to wait. I, I landed the boom. I landed a boom, bro. <laughs> yeah, but I am not sure. I'm gonna. I'm. Let it put it like this. I think 90%. I'm sure my boom will fail. Okay. Okay. If I, if I go first. What's the IP? I can't join now. Huh? I need the IP for the server. You know, none of you guys are online. Um, oh, let me go online then. I left for that too, Adwin. <laughs> I can't see you in game. What the fuck? Yeah, you can join me now. I can't see. Uh, yeah, I cannot see IP. Yeah, just join me. I'm see. Yeah. You can type status and you get the IP. You can just join me, MC. You can see me in game. There you go, MC is loading. Yep. Okay, I'm ready. The tank should really just focus one and get him in cap fast and then support should go in. Yeah, but if you have a boomer, that's the thing. Yeah, and the boomer can fail if I go first. Oh, we got no charge. Can be good. But let's see uh, uh, where they stand. I still stand all the way back in the alley because I can give it a good chip over. And then try to flank you. You ready or what? I'm ready. They're not. So do you guys reckon we without the uh, scap or what? We go with this. I don't know. Whoops. I am. Um, I, I don't have. I don't have a spawn, so you can go two alone if you want. I don't care. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Then I just pop the boomer and pass a second control. We need a charge. I think it's better for when they want to flank. Mm, I'm more confident with this tank, though. Skeptical yeah, that's tank. true. Mm-hmm. What? Well, if we don't go what, in what? and we waste the boomer, then we'll still get the tank. And no offense, but I'm more confident with a skeptical yeah. tank. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, same here. My I'm arms are big, a arms. Tank. Ah, come on, skeptical. <laughs> Show them the Russian arms. These guys know how to out-Russian me, though. I don't like it. No, 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 don't you do. do. Take so stop, and you stop playing pub. Just aim upwards. <laughs> Play pub less. Fuck off. <laughs> stop playing RBS, man. But they're easy tech punches. I know. It makes me feel like I have a huge E pain. Yeah, yeah, I know. But not everything can be the same, like, you know, in life and in online, so. What? What? Come on. <laughs> Are you flirting? Hey, they're ready. They're ready. When you're ready, we so you can go. I'm lagging now. My roommates are going down to porn again. Awesome! Mm -hmm. You should go live outside in a trash can or something. Take your computer with you. Yeah. Well, let's go. Before it gets worse. Okay, here we go. He's on the wrong team. Yeah, put Swiss in infected. He probably saw our lineup. Mm -hmm. Small glimpse of what we got. So probably can waste the boomer. Waste the boomer, quick. Okay, whoops, think it is. One way, they're pushing. They're pushing. No, they're going back. Yeah, no, they're just trying to get some. MC, do you have a spawn? Because I can't see. MC is tanked. Oh, MC is tanked now. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah, I go in, but let's try to get right. one. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Tell us when to go, MC.
Hello, SMC. Wait, wait. Okay, you can go. go. You can go, you can go. Go, 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 go. Nice punch. Keep the smoker, fight it. Nice. Protect nice. the smoker. He's dead. Good. Punch him. Come on, finish him. No. Oh my goodness. We are oh, back, that ladies is and gentlemen. Epic. Wow. Almost <laughs> saw the wipe there with that uh, that tank going in by MC getting a great amount of double punches. Um, that smoker getting cleared right at the last minute though, as the last survivor was sat down to about five percent on his HP bar. That looks like uh, too late, unable to secure the early wipe. Uh, but Impossible losing all of their health bonus right off the bat. There's still a little bit left on Mosquito. But um, they're in bad way now. But I mean, this is great for them because it's all distance from here on out. Yeah, absolutely. And it was amazing because the way they were going in with that tank, I mean, they were chipping away with those four SMGs, but it wasn't enough. Oh, Hunter got M2 to the back, at the front, sorry. Jockey got one at the back. No permanent health worth except for the one not smidgen of it on Mosquito, I think. Mm hmm. Uh, too late, we need to stop getting the composure back now and just finish off the survivor as soon as possible. And they do have, let's see what they got. Oh, it's another 2 2. Oh, the worst 2 2. Jockey, boomer, smoke a spitter. Boom does not on one survivor. But they want to try and keep that spitter. Hope that that boomer sack uh, gives them a charger or maybe even a hunter just for a tri cap at the bottom of this drop. If it's a hunter, though, we may see them go at the top of the drop. I don't like position at the bottom. Do have that hunter. hunter. Yep, Smoker and Hunter both pre spawn already. Going in with it. Smoker gets his pull, Hunter gets his pound. Smoker has been cleared and the jockey jumps on Rochelle as a result. That is the attack cleared. More distance now for uh, Brossabu. They haven't come across any additional sets of pills either yet, which means there might be four sets of pills waiting in the room ahead for them. They are going to take another SI hit very soon. Three sets of pills. Yeah, just sucking attack now. Just sucking the hunter and the boomer. The hunter doesn't get anything. Of course he is, he's always in. The uh, hunter not getting anything at all, the boomer gets a proxy on one survivor. The uh, survivor's in pretty good shape right now to trigger this event, but uh, with the high skill teams, you, s you see these um, coaster hits being exceptionally deadly, and they have a very good hit for it. Smoker charges a bit, and the final spawn coming in is a hunter, so no jockey for the ledge hang, but uh, they can still do quite a bit of damage with the hunter. And the game is goes out. Okay. Menge's ping shooting up to 180, and of course now with the pause in this area, the coaster is repeating over and over again. Very annoying mechanical noise. They are right Yeah. The game is uh, returning to its live status. Once again, the uh, attack for the coaster choke point for the, for the SI, sorry, is a hunter, spitter, charger, and smoker. It has to be spawned and thrown out a delay spit. Smoker going for that pull, he gets the pull off the top. Was that a beer or a soda? That beer. was a beer. Good to know. Hunter looking for that intercept on um, Nick, who's trying to push up the top. Hunter jumping off the coaster, charging up for the charge. He gets his charge, he gets the in-cap. Hunter lands at the bottom. Looks like and Nick is just going to ball to the wall and run for distance here. Is it coach or is it Nick? Uh, it's coach. 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 I mean, he's got a witch in front of him, and he hasn't, yeah. got, a, hasn't got a shotgun. Only an the hunter's free. And there's a smoker. Hunter's free. So and smoker for that got him. Hooker gets in, the charger coming in for the glory fists. That is going to be the wipe. Wish it almost got pissed off enough to go for him. But it didn't matter in the end. Not bad though, 357 distance points. Which is pretty good considering that uh, that early tank. I mean, it's a great chance here now for um, Impossible as well to play another solid tank, get the wipe.
and uh, leave themselves with a good 800 um, point advantage going into the final map, map 4. But of course we will see a too late hit their round on Survivor now for map 3. Well, the one consistent thing I'm seeing at the moment with um, Impossibly's Survivor play is that as long as they have Stellar and System Gs, they can handle those tanks well enough. But fixing for the lower um, you know, damaging SMGs, and yeah, you know, they almost get wiped. The full attack is coming in here. Hunter getting skeeted. Spit goes down. Smoke goes out on that. Everything has been dealt with, though. Now we see no damage at all going out off that first hit. Again, I mean, too late are doing the same thing. They're rolling out four standard Uzis, and again, it's quite a risk in my opinion. I know a lot of teams in the European scene, well, never mind what I was about to say, there's attack coming in, Boomer to the front, Smoker is pulling uh, Rochelle, Jockey landing on uh, Coach, MC defended himself from a Hunter and killed him. Time for that intercept with the Jockey, that could have been a lot of damage as well. There is the tank though, it has been triggered and it's up in the hands of uh, Solmir. The survivors will have more than enough time to clear out all these commons that are trailing in the uh, tunnels and of course that initial boom that went off. Mm. We do have a charger up in spawn mode for the SI. Smoker, final spawn coming in in one second. It's probably going to be a boomer. Oh, it's a hunter. But it's a tricap. Exact same tricap that uh, Too Late had going in. Going to roll in with it. Tank is rolling in. MC40 was far enough away but he wasn't. Gets two punches in. SI Focus support. Attention on him. Hunter's still jumping around. Oh, Charger completely mischarged in the wrong direction. They haven't killed that Hunter still. This is quite a bit of damage going on the board. As Solmir is still rocking about with about 1800 health on him. Uh, they're not just really shooting his tank as well. A lot of oh, damage shell is going This could be it. It could well be. It is. That is the wipe. Tank remains with 92 HP. Pretty much identical situation, but that smoker pulled from a much better angle, but he was able to clear the survivor away from the rest of his team, so they can't clear through the wall with them pistols while they're down. Yeah, last round uh, the smoker ran in, just to do a uh, point-blank smoke. Indeed, and that is going to give um, possibly a really comfortable cushion going into the fourth and final map. 845 points, well... Not even 845 points, I assume, uh, was it 816 points? Yeah. Going into the final map, um, and, the, and of course with Equilibrium, the uh, custom distance on this map is only 500 for completion, so there's a 1,000 bonus as well. So I mean, unless, what Too Late really needs now is an early tank. They need the early tank, they need the wipe, and then they need to make it themselves with considerable bonus. It's a tall order, but... Uh We've seen it be made before. Yep, I mean, even if they uh, wipe this team at the safe room door, they still need a 300 bonus themselves to sort of seal a win. I'm grabbing pills. So it's all to play for now for too late. They really need to pull themselves together for their uh, survivor round. And it is a really early tank. Very early. That might even actually trigger like the first few steps outside the safe room. It should do. It should trigger around bumper cars. No, no, no. That's more like a 20% tank. Really? Yeah, the tank spawns at 15%, but it can trigger at 1%. Yeah. Well, the percentage uh, figure... Reloading. Some people get confused with it, but the percentage figure is exactly where the tank would spawn. It doesn't reloading. indicate where the survivors have to be in order for the tank to spawn. Uh, of course, okay. with uh, Equilibrium's custom distance on this map as well, we do see a jockey currently pre-spawned. Uh, Smoker, Charger, and Spitter for, pre uh, for support, so there's a great damage potential once again. Charger rockets in, he's going to miss his charge though. Smoker going for that pull, he's not going to get it. There's the tank. Goes down on nothing. Tank is up. Got a lot of common in this area. Tank taking a little bit of chip, about 300 points, now 400. 400 points of damage going in on Whoops Tank. Uh, let's take this over to an infected war room, uh, SL. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good position. So this is behind a tree. Go, boom if you can. Aye. Mm. 
Ja, shit, dumps just on the left side. Weapons over here. It is? Yeah. Weapons over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. You can go in if you want. Or want to play long. Yeah, I can play for a bit. Okay. You guys want to go? Ready? Yeah, uh, I'm afraid to. No, I'll I go in. I'll go in in a sec. They'll LOS me really hard if I don't go in now. Okay. Okay. Let's go. You want us to go in? Not yet. No, it's good time. Three, go, two, yeah. one, go. Almost. I like the with the smoker you. spawn and MC, you spawned really far. Yeah, but I had my cap longest. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. That was the uh, fourth and final tank of the game for too late. Uh, not managed to secure the wipe they needed, unfortunately. Good amount of damage spread with uh, good SI support from the smoker and the uh, charger. But uh, they really needed the wipe there. They're just gifting Impossible now a lot more distance, and with every step that Impossible take, the further ahead they get and the more impossible it comes for uh, too late to catch them. A boomer does go in there and get a boom on one survivor. There is a charger, spitter, and smoker in support, and here it comes. Charger from in front, smoker from behind. Charger misses his charge, smoker is getting quite a bit of damage. And the spit goes down on that. A nice artillery spit over the fence, but uh, both survivors out of the area quick enough before the spit is able to land and start his ticks. Let's get inside the station. I have an idea. Lucy three sets of pills, fully committed by the survivors, however. But at this point, I mean, every step they take just secures their lead. Yeah, and they've got a thousand point advantage as well already. Yep. I mean, there's only a maximum uh, points tally available of 1500. That's assuming survivors make it to the safe room with 100 health. Yep, there is another attack spawned up and it's coming in though. Hunter, Jockey, do cap Nick, who's really separated in front of the rest of his team. Boom is going to boom him as well. That Hunter's still getting M2 to wrap. Looking for that uh, interception cap on Rochelle. Hunter has been skeeted. Nick goes down. He might have died. Delay. Yeah. I need to clear these commons. What they just do that as well. Yeah, they are going to get him up. He was a little bit of health bonus as well, so not a bad hit at all. But, uh, that's but the that's the first down that Impossible has suffered. Yeah, I think Impossible. The main thing for them is just, is get a distance because they know they've already got a huge lead, and being their last map and all. Yep. Which though, an attack coming again. A charge. I'm missing. Close oh no, he gets, he still gets him. He shimmies off the wall and gets a charge in on Rochelle. He's gonna get. Oh, almost get the There's still oh. a hunter. Up. I like how the two Spaniards of the team are carrying shotguns and two SMGs as well. Nice even balance for the weapon setup in my opinion. Nice DP. Nice DP in the back, on health bonus as well. At this point, not good. Which has been triggered, she is going to climb up over the uh, top of the gate area. Shotguns are in position to try and gun her down, and they do get the kill. And we're getting popped as well, just as the witch gets taken out. Yeah. But, I mean, look how low their health is. Yep, yeah, event has been triggered. They do in cap coach for the pickup. We do have a uh, smoker, spitter, jockey. Final spawn for the SI is going to be seven seconds away, which means they're only going to have one hit in this area before the event doors open. Jockey has pre spawn And they have a hunter as well, so it's a tri cap with spit, but not an exceptional tri cap. Here it comes. Hunter coming in from above. Smoker gets a pull from behind. Hunter lands. Double cap. cap going on. Smoker is going to get an in cap on Ellis. Shizzles down. Yep, the spitter dies on him as well. That's Rochelle's a hit away. Oh. Skillfully defending herself with that cricket bat. Yep, with uh, no one booms as well. The commons just go after whoever they want. All four survivors are up. Rochelle is so close to being hit down by commons though. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way they're going to make the safe room on this hill. But they've sent Rochelle into the back. Jockey's going to get the in cap on her. He does get it. Two survivors now down. Yeah. Uh, spitter, charger, and a boomer. Of course, that jockey training in from behind. Hunter gets uh, a cap. 
There's one survivor left. Jock in charge of them and finish that off. So they do wipe uh, Team Impossible 441 points in. But uh, Impossible with a massive advantage now. Yeah, 1,200 one. points. Yeah, 1,257 points to be exact. And what that means is that uh, Too Late are going to have to make it to the safe room with a 758 bonus to take the win just by one point. Yep. It's going to be exceptionally difficult for them. I mean, if this tank They're going to so bring out the best game of their life right here, right now. If this tank gets so much as an in cap, or I think it's punch on four separate survivors, that is uh, the health bonus destroyed near enough. Yep, well, they're still rolling out four standard Uzis. As much as they want to do that, it doesn't change the fact that he has quite a weak DPS uh, statistic going behind it. It hasn't worked for I them for the, past, uh, gun over. for the past two tanks, I mean, the 4 SMG thing hasn't really worked for her too late. I mean, the map 2 tank wiped them when they had the exact same setup, and of course the map 3 uh, tank did the same to them. I mean, this area is great if you can get some distance between yourself and the tank. It looks like the SI are going to save their hit here until um, the tank, does tri tank triggers attack coming in. Ch Smokey gets a pull in front, uh, Charger and Jockey going for the same target but not getting anything. Spit goes down, Charger gets uh, one last fist in, Tank is able to get out without taking any chip whatsoever. Yeah. Survivors have to really line of sight this tank now though. Cannot afford to give him any rocks. Yeah, surprisingly too late. Oh, oh he gets a rock. Got a rock on Rochelle. This is close. I mean, they got to be careful they don't lose another 200 bonus off their tally or otherwise that's game over for them. And Hank is trying his luck with the hitables. Actually, one lands in on the, the other side of the bumper cars area. And that's the tank swap. Oh, <laughs> that one actually goes on the fence behind him. Shiz is actually trying to get every hitable in play, but he's got to be careful because this is the second pass and he risks passing the tank into AI. He's got to really go now. 55% Too late ringing out the Area 51 tactics. <laughs> it was very risky, but they're going with it. Yes, I think that is pretty much it. Yeah, whoops. Yeah. Alright, oh, Sarah's dead even. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Charger and a bumper car connect. That is the game, unfortunately, for uh, Too Late. Impossible do secure their win. It's not over just yet, but there's two survivors dead. Tank is still sitting at about 2k HP. Here comes a smoker, hunter, and a boomer to try and finish off what's left of the survivors. Just whoops an MC up. Boomer gets a double boom as well. There is a smoker up front as well, waiting to spawn. Smoker has spawned. And uh, MC is dancing on top of the bumper car, tempting the tank to hit him and touching it. And smoker going for the same target. Oh, oh that God, so bumper good. car. Still flinging oh. around, finally landing on MZ, it's just whoops now. Tank is finally dead. Tank is dead, but that is the game. There's a Justice Jockey jumping around looking for that. Uh, oh, the Jockey gets it, but he does have a Deagle. Oh, it's the not landing. The Jockey has secured himself behind that pillar. He moves further away just to make sure that uh, Nick is unable to clear. That is indeed the game. Uh, yeah. Too late getting wiped on map 4 of uh, Dark Carnival right at the bumper car area giving them a total score of 1180 to Impossible's 2286 so a commanding lead after map 2 for um, uh, Impossible which led to a pretty much outstanding performance on Survivor for them for map 4 as well may yeah. not have made safe room but they made sufficient dis uh, distance to sort of secure their win I mean I think too late went into the bumper cars because I don't think they were confident that they could get the bonus that they needed in order to uh, bring this match back into their favour. Yeah. And as like I was saying, it's, it's pretty hard to do that, especially when your preferred setup is 
four sound Uzis, which probably has the lowest like DPS output of any setup. You know, people underrate the shotguns, but I mean, that's just how it is. People being so used to the fresh mentality that they roll out four SMGs like it's a completely valid tactic, but times have changed, and in order for the best teams to ring out, they need to adapt to those times and those changes that are needed. Indeed. Well, that is the game. I mean, it was a great one to watch. The first uh, map was extremely close. I mean, I thought we were in for a hell of a ride after that one, but it just seemed after map two that uh, too late were really struggling on their survivor. Uh, getting, w I don't think they killed a single tank after the first tank. No, I mean, it just looks like... I mean, to me, it seemed like Too Late had a lot of promise going into it, but for whatever reason, they just always seem to struggle surviving against tanks. I mean, they handled the first map pretty well. I mean, Skeptical was the only one that got down, but that's more or less to do with the area the tank was fighting in. With the other ones, it was just practically a wipe all around. But nonetheless, you know, you have to remember from uh, what we have heard that, you know, every team gets wiped by every tank nowadays because of the lack of slowdown. Yeah. It's an ancient wives' tale, but I've heard it's true. From very reliable sources. Funny enough, okay. someone forgot to tell that to Impossible, though. Indeed. So, there you go. But uh, nonetheless, uh, I have been Battle. I have been joined by uh, Dragon and our good friend Swink. Say good evening or good night or whatever it is that you foreigners do. Good morning. There you go. So, uh, good game, and thank you for tuning in. Good night.